And now we've visited the Frontlines Rehabilitation Hospital, Bishvilam, at the Ikhilov Hospital in Tel Aviv, where we met our brave soldiers wounded in battle and heard their stories. It was very, very exciting. We are here at the Frontline Rehabilitation Hospital, Bishvilam, at the Ikhilov Hospital in Tel Aviv, where dozens of soldiers were brought to after the October 7 massacre. These were actually the first responders who got into the kibbutzim, got into the villages, trying to save the civilians over there without knowing how severe the situation was at first. And also, since the ground offensive in Gaza started, dozens are being brought here since the start of the offensive. So we're going to meet the soldiers today and the doctors. I'm very excited. Let's go. Ikhilov Hospital in Tel Aviv anticipated that their next challenge would be the rehabilitation of the wounded, a stage following the patient's release from intensive care. For these matters, the hospital expanded its rehabilitation capabilities. As for now, we uh, Ikhilov treated uh, more than 400 uh, wounded. Um, out of them, about 35 uh, are in the rehabilitation ward. About half of them are soldiers. Um, and we already have in the rehabilitation daycare, we all already have about 10 uh, patients uh, wounded from the ward. Now, meet Itai, 25-year-old surgeon, first-class reserves Itai who was wounded in battle on Zikim on October 11th. He was critically injured after witnessing three of his best friends being killed before his eyes. The doctors weren't sure he would make it, but now he's slowly recovering, though he still has a long way to go. We are 12, 12 uh, guys, 12 warriors, and on the way there, inside of Israel, uh, near the beach, near Gaza, um, they ambushed us, uh, eight, eight of their Nukhba uh, terrorists, and we, we were 12, and at the first burst of fire that they had on us, they uh, injured six of us. So I was injured after I took two of them. They, uh, they started to throw grenades at me, the terrorists, and I dodged two, two grenades and the third one I just didn't see, and it exploded right in front of me. At that moment, Itai, struggling to stay conscious, said he could vaguely see and feel flashes of things that are important to him. His teammates, his family, the promises he's yet to fulfill, and his future kibbutz house. And there, he understands that it's not his time to go yet, and he has to calm down one more person. And I know I need her to hear my voice, that I'm okay because the doctor is going to call them. I know the procedure. And I want her to be calm. So I called her and like, hey Ma, how are you? <laughs> I want to tell you I'm okay. I'm in the hospital. Like this, breathing really hard. And, <laughs> and I want to tell you everything is okay. I have some uh, uh, frags from a grenade in my, in my hand, but it's all okay. I'm now in the hospital and they're gonna take it out. Now meet 29-year-old Surgeon First Class Reserves Ophir. He was on a semester break trip to Thailand and jumped on the first plane he could to come back for duty. He was heavily wounded by shrapnel in battle in northern Gaza when Hamas terrorists fired an RPG into their vehicle, killing one and injuring the others. Two days ago I had my plastic surgery, the final one, that they sewed all of the uh, different holes and bigger wounds I've got from the uh, shrapnels of the uh, mortar bomb that I that hurt our uh, vehicle, our armored vehicle. So I'm um, I'm I'm getting better. I, I I already passed the difficult phases of heal of my healing process. Had some surgeries, had some some complications of the surgeries, but now we're good. We're on the the good road. We slept like head to toe. Okay, I slept with my legs towards the opening. So all of the scattering of the shrapnel I've got was basically on the lower part of my body, all right? Hips, belly, uh, and the um, calf, one of my calves. A good friend of mine who was sleeping with the head towards the opening, uh, got more critical part and died right away. I was evacuated 30, 40 minutes by armored vehicle to the border and then flew. They flew me with a special squad here to, to, to Ikhilov Hospital. I was unstable. I was very bad wounded, badly wounded. I undergone two surgeries. 
whilst the, uh, the the more superficial shrapnels they take taken out most of them are sunk really deep and near pretty large arteries and veins and, and, and nerves so they won't take them out pretty much like 18 shrapnels and as we were ready to leave wishing itai and offer speedy recovery and thanking them for their bravery while i personally teared up for a solid half an hour itai couldn't leave without delivering one last message in that mission i lost three of my best friends and i want to tell you that it's not going to be in vain we're going to rebuild we're going to love we're going to do amazing stuff in their names and there was a bandage of our team. Now we need to continue without them, and their family need to continue without them. They died just because that people hated them, not the opposite of around. And, and I know that I'm gonna do, and my team, and I know Israel is gonna do everything to make it not in vain, and amazing things are going to happen in this country. Amazing.